In SRV rally racing, one of the most important skills to learn is how to avoid taking damage in your SRV, as repairs are not allowed. This adds an element of conservatism that has to be balanced against the race to finish with the best time. This bit of strategy in how you plan your route and how aggressive you drive while trying to survive makes for tense situations, such as the final leg of the Napier Sommerfeld stage, where a kilometer-long drop is broken up by rocky outcroppings of pain and death in what has become known as the plunge. The trick when trying to maneuver the SRV across treacherous terrain is to angle the SRV so that the wheels take more of the impact than the chassis. If you come in perfectly level, you will bottom out the SRV on impact and cause some damage. Using this technique, you can angle to briefly come into contact with the surface and gain some speed to keep flying above the terrain. This naturally doesn't work well on high G worlds, but the same principles apply in order to prevent the chip damage that you will encounter just going over small hills. If there's one thing that's certain when racing the SRV, it's that you will get turned around, taking a bad hop or an errant rock to the face. When that happens, you'll be wanting to keep an eye on your navigational compass to the left of the scanner, as it'll lead you to your targeted destination at the end of the stage. In general, the more time you spend floating above the surface, the less time that surface has to alter your heading. So it's recommended to use your thrusters to stay floating above the surface when possible to avoid random encounters with terrain that'll spin you out. Now, there's a fine line between angling forward to absorb an impact with your wheels and angling too far forward to absorb an impact with your SRV's cabin. This has expectedly disastrous results, which I will demonstrate shortly. Fortunately, I'm in the home stretch now, so it'll just be a few more small hops until I can get to the flat land and the finish line. As I mentioned previously, you are not allowed to make any repairs to your SRV in the course of running the stage, which is something you need to account for not only in the route you plan to take to get to the finish, but also how you plan to cross the finish line itself. On this stage in particular, the finish line is the trespass zone which is right up against the main structure. So the fastest way to finish is to ram the building at full speed. Having 10% hole remaining, I decided to back a little bit off the throttle to ensure this run didn't end with me redecorating the walls of Sommerfeld Enterprise. With a little more planning on the route, I could probably come in from the side and skim the trespass zone to finish, avoiding the collision damage. And that's the end of an SRV rally race. Think you're up to the challenge?